Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Mel W37 and I am here today to bring you something really cool that I have figured out. Uh, I was wondering and thinking about how I could possibly make realms, my realm survival world, modded. Now I know you could do it with com command blocks, but I don't know how to make mods with command blocks. So I stumbled upon the Tempest's box. And I think this is so awesome. It works for 1.11 and here is their website. It is super cool. It actually changes the way the game is played in your vanilla 1.11 survival world. It adds 16 new mobs. It adds magic staffs, magic machines, spirit gems, uh, all kinds of stuff. There's something coming soon called Ascended Enchants. Uh, here are the people that made this possible and they are absolutely awesome. And then it also has a how-to video on how to install this. But I am going to give you a walkthrough on how to install it and how to upload it to your realms world so that way you can play modded Minecraft on realms. So. What you're going to do first is you're going to head to this website and you're going to not download world. You do not want to download a world, but you want to download the resources. So click download resources, brings up the zip, zip file download. And here it is. You click on that, it downloads. And then you are going to go into Minecraft because you're going to need to create a world and you don't want to go into realms first. You want to go on single player and create a world that you can install this structure on that they're going to provide you with. So that way, once it's all ready to go, you can just upload it to realms and it will work. I promise you. So what you're going to do is go to single player. And then you're going to want to create new world. So it is important when you create a new world to hit more world options, allow cheats on, done. You want it to be in survival. And I'm going to name this world Tempest, Tempest Box. And then go to create new world. Takes a minute sometimes. All right, this is where it put me in the world. So, wow, in the middle of nowhere. That's awesome, Minecraft. So what you're gonna need to do, now that you created a world, you need to get out of Minecraft, save and quit to title. You are going to go into your Minecraft, your dot Minecraft files. So you're gonna need to go percent app data percent, enter, it'll take you to your dot minecraft folder go to saves and these are all your saved worlds so what you're gonna need to do is go to tempest box and this is all your world data right here well you're gonna need to go into the zipped file folder that you downloaded from your tempest box website and you're gonna need a zip software to get into it so make sure you have like so you can download a zip file extractor online in order to get into this because you're going to need to double click on your zip file folder click on tempest resource version 0.4 and you're going to need to get into these three folders but stop right here don't go any further because you're going to need to copy and paste those into your world's file folder copy and paste you're going to hit control a control c then you're going to go over here to this file folder that has your world data in it and you're going to hit control v to paste it in there and then you're going to want to replace the files in the destination all right now we've got them all of this stuff for the tempest box we've got into your actual world file folder with all your world data in it click out of this Click out of this. And now you want to open up your single player world again. 
Okay, so. Now you want to have a little bit of flat ground here to create this. So you don't have to, but I recommend it because it's pretty large. It's a huge rectangular structure. You want to do give your in-game name. Minecraft colon structure underscore block. And it'll give you a structure block. Once you have that structure block, you just place it down and then you right click on it. Make sure you click twice on this button with the D and the brackets. Click twice on it to load mode. Then you're going to hit TDB. Oops. You're going to hit TDB. One. Zero. One. And the developer said four reasons. So I'm not sure exactly why you use this relative position, but that's just the way that he had it. Make sure your structure name says TTB. You want include entities on, and then you hit load. And now it's loaded this structure. And actually this would be the front of it right here. And this kind of shows you where it's gonna be loaded. Just like that. All right, if you're happy where the placement is, you're gonna right click on it again and hit load again. And there you have it. It loaded in this huge box of command blocks. Now this is the part that gets really cool. You can get rid of this structure block. And now you've got this huge command block central rectangular structure that is key, that's pivotal to having these new things in your realm's world. It creates the new mods, it creates the wands, it creates everything. It creates the quarries, everything. So now that we've got this spawned into our single player world, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna save, quit, and exit. And we're gonna quit We're going to go to realms, go to configure realms, and we're going to reset our world that we've chosen for this. Reset world, upload world. You're going to want to upload the world that you spawned in that structure, which would be Tempest Box in my case. Upload, and this might take a little bit. All right, it's done. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to world options and make sure everything is the way it should be. Tempest boss, it should be survival, easy, spawn protection to the max, cause you wanna to try to protect it as much as possible. Uh, force game mode off, PVP, I like to have off, but you can have it on if you'd like. Spawn animals, yes. Spawn monsters, yes. NPCs, yes. And, com and it is essential that you have command blocks on. Done. All right, let's go into the world. Okay, and it spawns us right next to it. I don't know why this is different here. There was like this little uh, picture there, but now it's like this. It must be because for some reason, because of realms, I don't know. But everything else, trust me, is working just fine. So now you've got this in your realms world. What do we do with it? Well, what we're gonna do is we are going to right click to enable all of these things. We wanna enable crafting, enable metal alchemy, enable poison cloud, enable block dreamer, enable growth aura, enable sand sifter, enable transformer, enable quarry, enable macerator, enable more creatures, and we're gonna enable spirit gems, enable XP collector, and enable magic staffs. Now that all these things are enabled, as you can see from the chat, crafting's enabled, all these things are enabled. Now you have 
all these things in your realms world. And so let me show you an example of what we've created. Show you what's gonna spawn at night. And let me equip myself with, because let me tell you, I'm gonna equip myself with some armor because these mobs, they be crazy. Let me just tell you, they be crazy. All right. Okay, let's go find some crazy mobs. I know they'll be around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is one of the new additions. It's a creeper, but it's a it's an enderman, but it's a special kind of enderman. Uh, they're pretty deadly. Oh my gosh. What is it called? I can't see it. I can't see its gamer tag. Whoa, it did something to me. I'm not sure exactly what. Let me try to... Okay, stop that. Stop that. Stop that crazy. It's called an Ender Menace. If you could see it. Yep. This is an Ender Menace. It makes an awful noise, so I'm going to go find something else. Uh, what else can we find here? To give you an idea. Oh, look. Ha. You got the llamas hanging out. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. I'm in creative, so they won't spit at me. Okay, so let's see what else we can find that's interesting out here. There's a ton of mobs spawning. You got all your regular mobs. So all of the uh, probabilities for things to spawn and all of the stats on damage and all that are available on the website and if it's not on the website it's on this particular youtubers channel they have a lot of information I'll put that in the description also so let's see if we can find anything else to spawn here some of these items are some of these mobs are rarer than others and some of them are underground so be prepared trust me all right, let's see what's going on over here. What do we have here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. So, wow, it even does this to you in creative, huh? Okay, so this mob here, that, that doesn't like me, I might have to stay away from him. This mob here will bury you in water. That's how he tries to kill you. What are you? No, stop. Stop trying to bury me. Stop. No, no. Stop trying to bury me. Stop that. Stop. Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. If I get close enough. No, he's going to keep burying me. But I wanted to show him his, you his gamer tag because I really don't remember what it's called. Alright, let's see if I can sneak up real fast. No, he will. He'll bury you. And it's in a matter of seconds, like you see right now. And it's pretty frightening. <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying, terrifying. <laughs> look at, look at, he's got me, he's got me. He's totally got me. Stop it, stop it. Quit it. Oh gosh, wow. Okay, terrifying, literally. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't recommend you getting close to this guy, I recommend you running. Yeah, that's pretty much what I recommend. Okay, so who else do we have out here that we might want to see? Yeah, honestly, if I get into survival mode, I'm just going to die in a heartbeat. So, uh, got to be really prepared, guys. I don't know what else to say. It's pretty challenging, but uh, I really think it'll enhance the gameplay and you could build quarries and uh, you kill mobs, you can get certain staffs that have magic properties to them. It is awesome. That is the only way I know how to describe it, is that it is awesome. And you can have this all in your realms, which I think is just completely genius because who is not getting sick of realms? I mean, I love, don't get me wrong, I love the adventure maps and I love the mini games. Mostly the adventure maps are my favorite, uh, but survival gets a little bit boring after a while. So, hey, why not spice it up, add some crazy mobs 
into your game, eventually you'll be, ha be able to have better enchants. And there you go. You've got a modded Minecraft on your hands, guys. So I hope this uh, can give you some information on how to put this into your realm so you guys can play it at home on your own realms and you can invite your friends and you guys can all play modded together. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes, it is so cool. Anyway, whoa, I heard something. So anyway, I'll leave the rest up to you guys to figure out as far as what kind of mobs are on here. You can go on the website and they will tell you a lot about all the different types of mobs. They'll tell you about all the different types of blocks, the quarries, whatever. It'll tell you. I'll also be putting the link of the... What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. Huh, disappeared. Okay. Well, anyway. I'll be putting the link of some YouTubers that I found helpful on all of this and on all the different types of items and blocks and mobs that you get when you use the Tempest box. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time. Bye everybody. And let me know if you install this and, it, and if it worked for you.